We're now ready to start the catheter insertion. We have just finished uh, cleaning uh, the cord and stump, and uh, we're now ready to cut the cord. So first we are going to carefully apply our tie, having an assistant hold the cord up vertically. And we're going to gently apply the cord tie, and this will help minimize any bleeding after it's cut. With our assistant holding the cord as vertical as possible and straight, we're going to try and do a very horizontal cut, trying not to do any angling, approximately one centimeter to one and a half centimeters above the cord base. Now that we have cut the cord, we will see, sorry, may see some uh, bleeding and we need to visualize uh, the vessels. Very often there'll be, of course, uh, the very thin walled and bigger vessel, which is the UVC, often at the 12 o'clock position, and our two artery vessels, which are tinier and more thick walled. We want to prepare to cannulate the artery first so we get our equipment on our sterile field and prepared. We want an iris forceps to dilate. Mosquito forceps first to stabilize the cord. That helps hold the cord in place. Using a tissue iris forcep and the other. I've located the artery. We first very carefully ensuring we don't make a false passage dilate the artery. You may have to do this a number of times. Leaving it in for a few seconds. It. Now we are ready to insert the caster. Remember we have flushed it through, but again maybe taking another look to ensure that it is truly flushed through and there's no air in the system. We're now ready to insert. It often the artery goes downwards first before up. You may feel a bit of resistance and if there's no obstruction continue to insert it to the desired depth. This would be calculated based on the baby's weight and should be done prior to insertion. Make sure there's blood return. I'm going to continue now to advance it to the desired position. Again, ensuring that there's good, good blood return. And then flushing to keep it clear. Now we're ready to insert the umbilical vein, the catheter is prepared. Again, just ensuring that there is no air. Dentivine, this is the vein. There doesn't appear to be any clots. Stabilizing the cord, the forcep. I'm going to insert UVC, should be directed towards the right shoulder and to the desired depth. It's important to ensure 
we get blood return that we're successfully in the right place and now ready. We're now ready to secure the vessels to the cord with suture. Require oral silk suture and needle driver. It's important to first make your stay suture onto the cord without catching any of the catheter, any of the vessel, I should say. And you're gonna make several knots. secure it. Some may wish to do purse string sutures to secure to the cord and that is also acceptable. Now we're ready. suture around the catheter. All the way ensuring that we're still at the right depth. And again, knotting it securely. nicely in place. You would proceed to do suturing of each vessel separately to the cord.